Good afternoon, that's right, SJ. The incident was described by police yesterday as absolutely tragic. It took place on the M62 in West Yorkshire yesterday uh, about 10 to 10 in the evening. It involved a 12-year-old boy. He was crossing the motorway when he was hit by a Toyota car. Now, he was making his way to the hard shoulder. It's believed that the young boy was walking uh, with a man, a much older man, after an earlier collision that involved an Audi Q5. Now, so far, a 36-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of causing or allowing the death of a child. And today, a 47-year-old has been arrested from Bolton on suspicion of causing death by dangerous driving. Now, uh, specially trained officers are supporting the young boy's family and an investigation is ongoing and police are appealing for anyone who may have uh, been on the motorway uh, on the East Carriageway of the M62 uh, yesterday evening. Uh, appealing for CCTV footage, for dash cam footage, anything they say that could aid with their investigation. Yeah, coming on. Here we go. Ready for its first residence, the Bibby Stock Home docked in Dorset will soon house up to 500 asylum seekers while their claims are processed. But today, the backlog again the focus, as the Home Office is accused of artificially reducing the number of people waiting for a decision. Absolutely not. We're committed to stopping the boats. Uh, but as we do that, it's also important that we get the Home Office's processes in place and get the backlog of asylum claims down. And we're making really, really strong progress in that regard. The Home Office has cancelled people's asylum claims due to reasons such as failing to turn up for an interview or to fill out a questionnaire, meaning they can now be removed from the UK. But Labour is warning they could simply disappear underground. They are cooking the books in order to make the backlog numbers look better, but in fact, all they're doing uh, is artificially withdrawing people, making administrative decisions without processing them properly. It's, it's completely outrageous and the government needs to come clean on this point. Labour claiming they'd use hard graft, quiet diplomacy and common sense to drastically reduce outstanding claims, but admitting they'd have no choice but to continue using barges until then. Just rushing it through with no consideration for people of the port or the immigrants themselves, the safety issues. Um, they are going over what the um, Fire Brigade Union have said. Um, they're not experts and now they're just dismissing all of their concerns and have said it's a Grenfell on the water. But ministers insist the Bibby Stockholm is safe. Keen to reduce the pressure on the public purse, the government and Labour admit that housing asylum seekers on barges and in hotels and military accommodation is a controversial necessity. And now the government is calling on social media giants like Instagram, Facebook and TikTok to clamp down on criminal people smuggling gangs advertising online. Any posts from people smugglers promoting group discounts, free spaces for children and false documents will be removed. The latest attempt to tackle illegal channel crossings in small boats. 15,000 migrants have reached these shores by that route so far this year. Only hundreds are expected to board the first barge in the coming days. Much more still to do to fulfil the Prime Minister's pledge to reduce the backlog. Join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel.
you will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.